for real. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you going? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> being led by a couple of guys that know Jerry's Lake quite well. So. Apparently. So far, it's not disappointing. It's not Ben and Jerry's. No, no, it's a uh, lake. For some reason, you can ask the source. Maybe he knows why it's called Jerry's Lake. Jerry's Lake is an unnamed lake located in northern Manitoba, down a gravel road. It was a bright, sunny day, and a good one for a walk, especially with a breeze to help keep the bugs off. We saw many butterflies along the road, including what I think is an Arctic fertility butterfly. The spots and patterns can vary in fertilities, which makes them difficult to identify. I was delighted to see some tamaracks or larches. These soft needle trees will turn yellow in the fall and then drop the needles, just like the ones in Alberta. Our guides led us bravely past the sign that said travel was not advised, but we were walking anyway. There were lots of wild strawberries growing in the sunny ditches, and it was impossible not to pause and eat a few, in addition to enjoying the wildflowers. I paused to look at a cattail growing at the edge of a pond. There was a beaver lodge in the middle, but no beavers out and about. The brackish water acted like a mirror and reflected the clouds in the sky. We reached the spot where the trail heads off to the lake. A mostly overgrown trail, except for some ATV trucks which cut into the soil, creating little trenches. The moss in the surrounding area was lush, with a lot of plants growing through. I noticed some raspberry-like plants growing close to the ground. The plants look like miniature raspberries, and after seeing several plants, I got up the nerve to try one. Looks like just a raspberry. It was good, just like a raspberry. After getting home, I found out that they are called dwarf raspberries, or dewberries. They spread by rhizomes and form ground cover after an area has been disturbed, often alongside bunchberries, which you might be able to spot in this patch. They are enjoyed by a variety of wildlife, including grouse and bears. So I guess this is Jerry's boat. No, it's actually chained up. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on this flower. It looked a little like mint. If anyone knows for sure, just let me know in the comments below. My resource has maps that kind of peter out halfway up Manitoba. This one is definitely wild green. It took a few minutes to have a snack by the lake shore. We had some bannock along with some sardines. It made a very nice snack. Fish sheet 
is very small. It took a moment to watch some lake foam jiggling in the wind. Plants and animals die and break down, and the only compounds get frosted up by the waves. These are the wild mint plants again, from an above view this time. These uniquely shaped flowers are spurred gentian. Are you going for the middle? You know what, this looks bad. But this is when I'm in my element. I'm so happy when I'm in these kind of places. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, these are fun. This is the fun part. The exploration. Oh, yeah. 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 And then it gets hot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's always when you're going in. Okay, stop. <laughs> God, they're almost reminding me of the uh, old, uh, yeah, <laughs> bees. There's a couple of ladies in like bumblebee costumes or something. Really? Yeah. Live It Up was a TV show that covered lifestyle, entertainment, and consumer awareness from 1978 to 1990. I'm mixing up the ending, which featured two men walking in drag with a segment called What Bugs You, which used a clip of a man in a bee costume. This seemed to be the season for grasshoppers to lay eggs, as we saw a few of them with their abdomens stuck in holes in the ground. It also seemed to be the time for butterflies to mate as well. While walking back, we also flushed a ruffed grouse into a nearby tree. There are 13 subspecies that live across the northern half of North America. I often hear the males drumming in the forest, where they perch on a log to amplify the sound. It was nice getting a chance to admire her plumage. I hope you enjoyed this journey to this unnamed lake. As always, thanks for watching.